we're still running uh, 90, what's that, 95%. Um, so I'm just going to allow this to continue to run for uh, as long as it stays there. Thought it'd be a good time to check in with you. I just replaced my jar. Uh, I've collected my first full gallon. Um, you can see my four shots and heads I've got sitting over there. But uh, I'm still pumping out 95% alcohol. So, ah, you know I want to play with it, but I know better. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, I've got a while to go. All my temperatures are balanced. My bubble plates are active just as anticipated uh, I'm really really enjoying this um, so oh stripping runs stripping runs I hear this often um, and there's always this misconception about stripping runs what let me ask the question openly what what does a stripping run do well it reduces the volume that you start with to something a little bit more manageable now that's just my opinion of course um, that means absolutely nothing to most people but that's okay um, would, you, I, would you run a stripping run? That I, I've got 95% alcohol by volume. Uh, what is the max? Uh, was it 96 points? It's, I'm just about at the max that you could possibly separate using the standard distillation method. So a stripping run doesn't really lend itself to a reflux. So now let's move on. So you've got a pot still. Um, and maybe you have a thumper. I don't like talking about thumpers because people misuse, misunderstand, and don't fully know how to operate a thumper, so they are a lot more problematic than you may think. Uh, so I'll leave that aside. A stripping run. Keep, keep this in mind. Let's say, just as an example, you have 300 gallons of mash, and you want to run 300 gallons of mash. Well, if you ran 300 gallons of mash the way I'm running this, it would take an extremely long time to do that, correct? So what, 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 what are our options? Well, we could run it in smaller batches, yeah, but you, then you, you're talking about multiple days. Well, one technique is uh, what's called a stripping run. Um, in a stripping run, a lot of people think that if they're not doing a stripping run, they're not doing it correctly. Well. Uh, Keep in mind, if you've got a really, really large volume, say 300 gallons, and you run it in a large pot still, and you run it fast without any regard to cuts, all you want to do is run it as fast as you possibly can and separate as much as you possibly can, uh, that's called a stripping run. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take that 300 gallons and move it down to a manageable level so that when we reintroduce that into a still and now we run it correctly, that we make a pure cut. But we're not dealing with 300 gallons anymore. Oh, yeah, a lot of times it gets, it, it kind of gets lost in the sauce, you know, when you go to, a, um, if you go to Europe and some of the large distilleries, you'll notice that they'll have this, distillers side by side and they'll explain how they'll run a stripping, what they call a stripping run. And they'll transfer from one to the next and then from that one into the final. Um, so, yeah, they call moving their low wines, and remember, they're starting off at like 15,000 gallons, and uh, so they're running as fast as they possibly can, and they bring that down to a manageable level so that they can run it correctly. So just keep that in mind. Uh, stripping runs are, are okay. They're fine. If you want to run a stripping run just because, you know, you want to say, check that box, I ran a stripping run, that's absolutely perfect. That's fine. Um, I find them to be a little bit more problematic because most of the time, if you're running an eight gallon still and you do a stripping run, what are you reducing it down from and to? You, you see where it, I, I, I kind of get lost with that? So it's just more of an opinionated process than anything. Remember, technique is totally up to you. We'll return. You know, the aroma in here is just uplifting. It, oh, that's all I can say. I'm on my third half gallon that I'm getting ready to switch out. Yeah, I'm not worried about that loss of a little bit. So I'm still at 95% uh, alcohol. But I want to show you something now. Um, I'm, I'm going to test it. Now, um, this is my own test. Uh, so yours, may, it may work a little different for you. If you get enough on your fingers, then just rub it in your hands and you allow it to, we call it, it's like aerate. 
and then smell it. Oh, mm. you can get you, what, what it does is it can tell you the body. There, now it's gone. Uh, it's all evaporated. But it can give you the body. Now, but you can also feel if you've got tails in there, you'll feel that uh, if you're sensitive enough because it'll be slippery, like like a little bit of oil. Nah. Yeah, something like that. It's it's really hard to describe. Uh, experience is what will teach you how to do that a whole lot better. Um, but uh, yeah, and if you do have tails, you can you'll pick that odor up immediately uh, as soon as you open your hands and put it in your face. Um, now remember, you can collect tails just about at any point during your run. So I would always say be cautious. If you run it too hot, too fast, uh, we already know that what we do is we tend to push tails through instead of allowing everything to separate and for just your ethanol to come off. So just be cautious about that. I'm at the point now, where I'm, I mean, I'm still at 95% alcohol by volume. Um, I'm going to let this thing run. Uh, I've got three half gallons. Uh, we'll see how far we get with this. But right now, my kettle temperature, I'm at about 198 in the kettle itself. So it started at 190. Now I'm at 198. So what does that tell me? Well, that kind of tells me it's an indicator that my kettle, the, the, the mash that's left in the kettle is starting to increase in temperature, which means that the alcohol level is dropping, obviously. <laughs> so that means the temperature will start to rise gradually. Okay. Yeah, you can see me checking everything again. You know, I'm at that point. You know, um, the hardest call I think to make is the point is the call to stop. Um, and it, but you have to say if you take in a few things into account, it'll help you make that decision uh, a whole lot easier. Now I started off with 21 gallons at about 11 percent ABV, and so if I think about, it, I just put you know throw it up on the board. I go okay, 20 gallons at 10 percent would be two gallons. So, so my anticipated draw off of this was a little over two gallons of alcohol. And right now I've got one and a half and probably if I add those together, just about two. So what I've done is I've switched off to a, a small quart mason jar. Uh, and that's because I know that I'm at that point that uh, my tails are going to arrive. Um, they're going to arrive rather quickly now, and I, there's a there, there is a faint there of I lost. I still like it, but I can start to pick up, uh, and it won't be long now. So it, the point is, is that even though it's at 95 percent, um, we are now at the point where we're pushing all of that up through in through the, that condenser and about the last three percent of a mash two to three percent is uh is your danger area of where you can you can inadvertently get tails a whole lot e matter of fact you will get them a whole lot easier um i'll just keep checking this and uh yeah i think you know i want to make that call um it, you know how I feel. You know, it's happened to many, many, many of you. You want to, you want to collect as much as you possibly can. At some point, you just have to go. Gosh, look, look what I got. You know. So I think it's time for me to just shut this down, uh, and I will. So easily, what I'll do just if I just turn the power off, uh, and I'll let the water continue to run. And what that will do is that will start to cool this down, and. Um, I'm extremely happy with that run. That, what, uh, four and a half hours? Um, um, what else could I offer? I got a whole lot of cleanup to do now, so you know how that that works. So I'll just leave this set tonight. It'll cool down, and I'll dump it, and you know all that stuff. Oh, look. If you get an opportunity, of course, subscribe, share us with your friends, and comment below. We're so glad you joined us today. I'm excited to have been able to spend some quality time with the people who mean so much. Happy distilling.